I just want to show you guys how I'm sealing a TFT display on a prototype. This is 20 Shore A Platinum Cure Silicone and it's got a six minute pot life, so I've got to work quickly. I'm going to pour this into my TFT right there and I've taped it off on the other side with Kapton. I had to remove my original Pi TFT from Adafruit that I had in this prototype because I ran a 50,000 volt stun gun in close proximity to it and something happened. It, it destroyed something in the cap touch layer. So we're getting all these phantom cap touches on the screen. It's actually a pretty good exercise for just like hardening the device, going back through the code, figuring out what to do, what not to do. I'm actually just gonna migrate to a DSi interface and a five inch screen, which is much bigger. It looks like the spy interfaces are pretty much going obsolete because there's just too much of a chain of custody when you're using them with a Pi Zero, like DMA transfers and all this other stuff, whereas the DSi interface is just like ready to go. So what's gonna happen is this silicone is going to seal that perimeter so that metallic chips and stuff like that from this application don't get down into the circuit board and short anything out. We've got a capacitive touch controller that's very sensitive. We've also got a Raspberry Pi Zero in there and an Arduino, a bunch of stuff because this is a CNC application. Okay, I very sketchily leveled this out with a bunch of stuff. I just need it to be somewhat flat here. Now we're going to do this pour. Dirtiest pour ever. I really should have used a syringe. I don't know what I was thinking, but I've been in such a frantic hurry with this thing. This is my B-Slide product, by the way. I'll level it out with my TI-89. And look how sketchy that is. I'm so proud of the sketchiness here, but this is the reality of R&D. Sometimes things don't look perfect, but it gets the job done. That's definitely not my best work. Don't judge what I do here by that. But in a scrappy pinch of time, I'll do what it takes to just get the job done. Like you can't linger on this stuff or belabor it. I just used Moldstar 20, which is 20 short A, and Silk Pig Black. I just mixed up a few cc's of A and B, put the black in there, mix it all up. This way you don't see down through it, but I really am a big fan of translucent platinum cure silicone because you can make it whatever color you want. We make a surprising amount of money from using silicones in our research and development work. And I wouldn't have thought that going into this, but there's so many applications when you need to like Insulate electronics, seal something up. Okay, it's all cured now. Do, 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 do. I'm broken. Zero X, zero Z. All right, great. That silicone pour was a success. Our new TFT cap touch display is working and the new B-slide prototype is working. As I mentioned, we're gonna migrate to a five inch touch screen. So it's gonna be way cooler than this. And we're gonna try to sell this in early 2026. Thanks for watching, adios.